This is the CC Radio Podcast. On this week's episode, we are talking about how our childhood heroes are getting attacked and our childhood movies are also getting attacked. Whoa. Everyone's being attacked. Welcome to Comic Confidential, the weekly show where we discuss our favorite things in popular culture. My name is Cade. And my name is Troy. Thanks for joining us as Cade briefly mentioned at the top of the show. Uh, we are going to talk about quite a few things today, including the attack on the Terminator. Oh, Ooh, God damn it. How dare you? How dare you? Have All you right. seen the video footage from I this? I have. It's <laughs> All right. So just to, just to clarify. Let's um, set the scene. We'll set the scene. So uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was somewhere in South Africa, South Africa uh, for the Arnold um, Classic. Classic. Which is a bodybuilding competition for it's those a- who don't know. Well, it's a whole, it's a, it's a whole sort of like sports festival like celebration of that sort of thing, right? Yeah, it's evolved from so much from, I guess, what a normal bodybuilding competition is. There's yeah. like strongman, there's CrossFit, there's everything. Like yeah, everything, there's bodybuilding, man. there's all that sort of stuff. So uh, he was there and he was uh, watching some kids skip. They were doing, they were doing skipping. They were doing like double jumps. They were doing double jumps. Uh, or double unders, as you call them in is the CrossFit world. Ooh. Yes, mm, a little insider. Oh, hello! We've, we've got a we've got a mole. Yeah, we've got a CrossFitter in the building. Uh, yeah, and you know, uh, Big Arnie was just there. He was like on his phone, taking a video, bit of a selfie video. Yeah, that guy is like an absolute selfie fiend. Oh, I loves it. Like if you see him at any event, he's just like, "Hey, I'm taking a selfie. I'm Arnie." Yeah, I'll be back here. Have a look at that. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and so all the action was happening sort of in the background. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, some old punter just runs up and just double like flying double leg drop. Bicycle kicks kick. In. Yeah. <laughs> What's that wrestling move? What is that wrestling move? It's a, it's a, it's a double leg drop kick or something. Is it? And so he just, he's run up and he's absolutely caned him in the back. Uh, and then he got, Absolutely splattered. Absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, Arnie took it like it was nothing. Oh, yeah. Because like, you would expect Arnie to. Oh, you would. He's a he's a mountain of a man. He's, so what he, is he pushing? 71, 72? Oh, he's in the 70s for sure. And I mean, this guy is still a beast. Yeah, he's, a, he's the Australian Oak. He's still, he's still, he's actually like he's gotten himself into fantastic shape. He kind of lost it a bit when he was like the governator, like during that period. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of stress eating. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, but you know, he, he's kind of bounced back from that. He's getting into some really good shape on that good TRT, probably <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of human growth hormones or something. Indeed. Um, but yeah, look at like he's, looking, he's looking thicker than oh, what he did thick. when he was built. Body he's, he's looking thicker than a snicker. Oh, hello. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's had. He's had a lot of Snickers. He's had a lot of Snickers. Yeah. Yeah. They really satisfy. And uh, also uh, they basically do the same thing as human growth hormones. Have you seen that the Snickers and Mars protein? Yeah, they are. Let me tell you, disgusting. Oh, yeah. really? I had a Snickers protein bar and it was- Oh, no. Um, there's actual protein. Oh, the protein. Yeah. Oh, so they do they do protein bars. Yeah. So they're like Snickered flavored and Mars flavored protein bars. And it just tastes like dirty protein. Oh, does it? You know what? You know that protein taste? Yeah, like chalk. It, yeah. It's like everything, you know, no matter how good the protein is, it still has that taste. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, same. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. It's just like a caramel protein bar. Ah, oh, right. Okay. With a bit of chocolate. Fair Not enough. good. Anyway. Damn. Yeah. Back to the, uh, back to the Terminator. Uh, yeah. It took it like a champ. Yeah. But- do you actually know the the backstory behind it? He was a crazy fan. Is that's, that that's <laughs> all it was? So what it was? He like he ran, kicked him, and he's like, "You need to buy me a Lamborghini." As he's getting dragged away. What? Yeah, I know. I like I I heard him screaming something along the lines of like "Help me!" like "Help me!" or something like that. Uh, maybe I mistook that for yeah, no, that's buy what me it a was. Lamborghini. No, help me buy me a Lamborghini. <laughs> Uh, that's, oh man, that's, uh, that's how you treat your, <laughs> that's what, you know what he was really trying to do. He was trying to kick his wallet out of his pocket. Yeah, probably. And just misjudged. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, that saying like never meet your heroes cause you'll always be disappointed unless you can drop kick them from yeah. the back <laughs> and, and steal their wallet. Yeah. That's uh that's a classic saying. Yeah. Uh, that, that's crazy. Absolutely um, insane. Yeah. That's, um, oh man. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Till I get to see, or let's say, Rob Downey Jr. in real life. I'm going to drop kick the shit 
out of that He's guy. He's the smallest person in the world. Doesn't he matter. would break in half. I'm I'm a I'm a hefty 105 kilo man. Uh, I don't even know if I could get up Off to where ground. I need to get to, to actually double drop kick someone. Maybe just throw a chair at him. I'll give it a good shot. Yeah. I, I feel like this is opening the doorway. You know who started this? Egg Boy. Egg Boy. As soon as Egg Boy just <laughs> rocked up and said, you know what? It's okay to just like start doing this thing to like politicians. And it's like everyone's just opened the door. It's like, well, you know what? Well, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Yeah. I don't have an egg. What have I got? Two feet. I got two eggs on my feet, so I throw them at him. <laughs> so I throw them at him instead. But no, I feel like it sets this dangerous precedent that people are gonna like just start randomly attacking the celebrities, <laughs> like just starting like to to try to do wrestling moves on them and stuff. Yeah, right. You know what well, I mean? Well, look, I don't think Egg Boy started a revolution over in South Africa. Well, no, no. Okay, take Egg Boy out of the equation, but this punter in particular, like this guy. Is you know it's like it's opened the door for you know someone is going to at some point they're gonna like RKO the shit out of Chris Evans yeah you know what I mean someone's gonna someone's gonna sneak up in in front of <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> sneak up in front of Sylvester Stallone and he's gonna get Stone Cold stunned out of nowhere you know what I mean this is it well this Troy, is what's happening talking about Stallone yeah cliffhanger I read some shocking news shocking now we're not really too newsy anymore. Yeah. But this news is too much for me. Okay. Well, we do still technically talk about news, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Cliffhanger is getting rebooted. Yes. With a female lead. Oh, damn. Now, one of the great things. Now, Why do they have to ruin things by putting females in them? Gosh. Kay? But the, one of the great things that I loved about Cliffhanger yeah. is that it was as cheesy as an 80s action flick gets. Hell yes. And it was all about Stallone being greased up in the snow, <laughs> which yeah. made no sense. Hey, you got to stay greased up. Hey, man, you keep the snow off you. Keep you warm. It does. Yeah. It was hot grease. That's what it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That snow just hits it and just melts. Yeah. Uh, I, that's exactly what I would do. Uh, look, uh, Cliffhanger is probably one of those movies that doesn't need to be remade. It's one of those movies that won't make sense today if it got made. Uh, how so? Well- uh, look, today there is far too much technology for things to not go the way you want them when you're on a mountain. Okay. Have you not seen the absolutely fantastic documentary Free Solo? No, I haven't. Everything can go wrong. Kate. Really? Everything can am, go wrong. Am I, is my cliff hanging? You've naive. never cliff hung. No, I can I, tell I, just I, by I, looking I, at you. I've you've never, never hung it. off a cliff. Um, free Solo is... Amazing, by the way. So everybody who has not seen Free Solo should a thousand percent go out and see Free Solo. Uh, and the the main guy that it focuses on, actually, he uh, I, I saw this thing with him where he was kind of critiquing Hollywood climbing scenes. Oh, right. And Cliffhanger was one of the ones that came up. Yeah. Um, and did it hold true? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. There's a part where like uh, Sylvester Stallone is basically climbing up an ice wall uh, with like his hands and stuff, and it's not really- That's impossible. It's not really possible. Yeah. Um, but with Free Solo, it does show you that, you know, like there are people out there that are willing to take those risks uh, and use the least amount of equipment possible. Why? Just why not? I guess that's what gets your kicks off. Look, I mean, if, if you are so, you know, like intensely dedicated to something and you want to push yourself and that's the only thing that matters- and if you were to die, you died doing the one true thing that you loved. Then why not? I w- I would never do it. Nah, like, you not, know, I don't. Not, not for me. That's that's not in me. But um, yeah, it's a uh, oh man, it's a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scary goddamn movie. Um, cliffhanger with a female lead, um, is interesting. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. It, well, look, like it, it makes it makes no difference to the story whatsoever. Unless you're wanting some oiled up Stallone, but you just get an oiled up Brie Larson or something. Troy, what? I just felt the internet tremor. There. What? <laughs> <laughs> because I said oiled up Brie Larson, or because I said Brie Larson? I think Brie Larson set it off. I think I just felt it again. That's not fair. Is it? <laughs> It's the 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 first the, the first person I could think of. The the thirty year old white males on their keyboards are hammering away. I'm a thirty year old white male. 
30 plus year old black male. You are 40 plus. <laughs> <laughs> you are 50 plus year don't, old male. Don't church it up. <laughs> no, look, um, it, my point is more that it makes no difference to the story. You know what I mean? The The biggest thing about Cliffhanger that I loved is that, uh, the and spoiler alert for a movie that is like a thousand years old, um, but the person dies at the start. Yes. Like he actually fails to save the person initially. Um, and I think that was really like shocking at the time. And then he's kind of got to get off the mountain. Yeah. And then he does. And there's bad guys, of course. Oh, all over him. There's always bad guys on mountains, you guys. It's one thing that I've ever, look, anytime I go hiking, Troy, yeah. I'm a regular hiker. Yeah. Like I just finished the hike before I did this. Yeah. I'm lying. Yeah, of course. I only see bad guys. Okay. I've never seen a good guy. It's on always a hike. like, oh, there's John Lithgow again. Oh, oh he's up there. Was it John Lithgow? <laughs> Far out. I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, people are out there raging. They're out there right now. They're raging. It wasn't John Lithgow, you idiot. Uh, but tell me who it was then. I dare you. Double dare. Yeah, I double dare you to yeah. correct me. Because <laughs> you will at some point. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was John Lithgow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he's always on mountains lurking around just trying to be a bad guy. I What's a, what's a classic action movie that you want made today yeah. with a female lead? Um, oh. Escape from New York. Do you have one? Do you have one? Is that why you're asking me the, the no, question? No, no. I'm just okay. curious. Um, uh, classic action movie remade with a female lead. I have this crazy idea about a team of paranormal investigators mm-hmm. and they basically find ghosts. Oh, yeah. I like where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Um, And they kind of bust them up. They're like, hey. Oh, yeah. And- they should definitely redo Ghostbusters with an all-female cast. Yeah, but I want it to be done with mostly an SNL cast. Yeah, of course. <laughs> because I need it to be humorous. Yeah, where else are you going to get them from? Yeah. Uh, look, in all honesty- um, Side note, I absolutely love that reboot. Oh, yeah, I liked it as well. Fuck, it was funny. Yeah. Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head because um, all the first, like the main action movies that are coming to my head are like Die Hard and Predator- and stuff like that. I don't know if you could really... There's no reason why you couldn't remake Die Hard with a female lead. Well, I guess I kind of did redo um, Predator with a female lead, Troy, just recently. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that movie. Are you talking about Predator 2018? Yes, I am. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd necessarily call Olivia Munn the lead. Oh, she was pretty much the lead. But she was pretty much the lead. Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, look, what about like something really crazy like Waterworld? No, oh, that doesn't matter. Kevin Costner. You're not, you're not changing the game. You know what mm, I mean? Nah, changing the what game. What if you made Dances with Wolves <laughs> with a female lead? Is <laughs> what if you made what The Bodyguard? Ke- what Kevin... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Bodyguard is... It's a female bodyguard to a male superstar. Yes. But they still do the exact same scene where he carries around. Yeah, from that's the what crime. I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be so good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, who, they could do that. Who would be the superstar? Oh, you know we can't do this. Yeah, uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, that, you know... Those or it's like a rip-off of... It's like a rip-off of Justin Bieber. Yeah. You know the, um, the movie... Never stop stopping or whatever. That, pop star. Yeah, pop yeah, star. Yeah. That's it. Um, do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make it Connor for real from yes. Pop Star Never Stop <laughs> Never Stopping. Uh, and the uh the bodyguard will be played by Melissa McCarthy. I like that. Yeah. Actually, I could actually see that happening. I would love that movie. That would be fantastic. Um Anyway, let's <laughs> let's move on from that. Uh, there is reportedly something else is getting remade, I believe. Yes. Or rebooted, perhaps. Rebooted, remade. Uh, continuing. Continuing, even. Question mark. Okay. Uh, this is a movie from my childhood that I absolutely loved. It's a, it's a series. Yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So this is all Disney owned, you know. Is it? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, which uh, which surprised me because they were actually going to remake it for Disney Plus. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, I don't know if you've heard of Disney Plus. It's, I, it's, I have. it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. That hasn't happened yet. No. But it's coming. Disney also bought Hulu. Oh, God. How is Disney allowed to buy anything else in this world? Well, you know what Disney doesn't own? Comic Confidential. And well, But if they but- want it. They can have it. 20 bucks. (laughs) Uh, No, but seriously, there is like, it's getting to a point where it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know how they're getting away with this stuff. Um, 
because Hulu has its own streaming service, yeah, obviously. So will it that is the streaming service? Uh, well, yeah, but will that disappear? Uh, yeah, I would imagine. Will that be integrated into yeah. Disney Plus, or will they keep Hulu? Like, you've got to keep options open, man. Like, if you if if all the money is still coming into you know the Disney bank, does it matter? Like, if people you know will feel better about having multiple streaming services, other than you know, oh, Disney is the only one. You know? Well, and this this raises a lot of questions. It's kind of like, all right, so how much content on Hulu is owned by Fox or Disney properties? Couldn't tell you because we don't get Hulu here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I would imagine there'll be stuff from all the studios on there. Oh, yeah, they'd because have to be. Because it'll be like Netflix. Yeah. It's just the alternative. It's like our Stan, you know, we get, we get programs on Stan that you don't get on Netflix, but they yeah. all come from like normal TV. Yeah, yeah. Now, I wonder what happens to all those TV shows that, aren't owned by Fox or aren't owned by Disney. Well, that's why I believe they would keep Hulu as a separate entity. Or is is Netflix kind of like just rubbing their hands? They're like, man, Disney, you can keep buying all the, all the competition because we'll take all the stuff that they can't have. Well, then where does Apple TV Plus come into the picture here as well? Like, <laughs> it, it doesn't. <laughs> do, do you honestly not think that that's going to be a viable streaming service? No, nah, not at all. Okay. Because, I mean, look at YouTube. YouTube is the biggest content platform in the world. Yeah. They couldn't even get off the ground their originals. I believe, though, that... Um, like, they've had one success out of it. What's that? Cobra Kai. Oh, well, yeah, but that's a big success. Yeah. However, like, because there'll be hundreds of other uh, YouTube Red originals yeah. that you don't know. Never heard of. Uh, but let me let me throw this at you, though. Um Apple TV Plus are likely going to get the streaming rights to HBO shows, which no one else has at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. How interesting. So that if that does happen, that could be a massive boon for them. Does that matter now that Game, Game of, of Thrones, Thrones is, is over? Gone? Well, it'd have replays of Game of Thrones, and HBO still has- they got um, sequels or prequels or- Yeah, there's all that stuff. All like that, that stuff still happening, yeah. I believe. And um, there's a- there's a lot of really good quality stuff that comes out of HBO. Um, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. One of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah, there you go. Criminally, criminally short episodes and criminally short bloody seasons. seasons. Eight episodes last season. Oh, what was that about? It's a killer, man. Actually, while we're talking about this, uh, uh, I'm probably talking to the wrong guy. Have you seen What We Do in the Shadows? No, I haven't. Okay. God damn you. Is it good? Uh, the movie itself is really good. Because uh, I see there's a TV show. Yeah, now. I've started watching the TV show. Uh, it's pretty great. Is it? Yeah. So I, I need to watch a TV show just because it looks hilarious. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a half decent fan of Flight of the Concords. I met Arch Barker. I don't know if you know that. Uh, yeah, I was there. Where but I wasn't. Uh, okay. I was there in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Super yeah. nice guy. Yeah, yeah. And um, I need to get onto that. Yeah, he makes an appearance. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I won't talk to you directly about it then, but uh, for anyone out there that is looking for a new show um, that – is a fan of that kind of that humor, that Jermaine Clement, Taika Waititi sort of stuff. Uh, get on to what we do in the show. It's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time filler now that like so many shows are coming to an end, um, like for their current seasons. Uh, as an example, Veep just ended, Barry just ended. Uh, all shows you're just looking at me blankly. Yeah, I have no idea. You're just you're, looking at me blankly. It sounds like you're making words up. Uh, well, Veep is, is technically a made up word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's. Um, an acronym, so oh yeah, what's yeah. it stand for? Well, it's like, well, it's not even an acronym really because it's supposed to be VP, like vice president. Oh, but they call it VEEP because oh, I, I I get it. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, uh, and then Barry is um, also an acronym. Uh, also an acronym for no, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, VEEP Barry coming to an end. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that are, that's kind of wrapping up and everything. Cobra Kai is done. Um, so yeah, check out what we do in the shadows anyway. Yeah, right. You know what I've learned? Yeah. Netflix, uh, usually don't get their seasons past three because of, uh, budget reasons. Oh really? Yeah. So what happens is, um, a lot of Netflix originals will maybe go to three seasons. Yeah. Maybe four, rarely over that because the actors keep asking for more money. Right, and Netflix can't pay them. Well, Netflix don't want to pay them. Okay. Because obviously there's a budget set to to each show where it's like, well, we're not going to keep getting new subscribers for this TV show. Yeah. People, are, they're invested. That's it. Yeah. So three seasons, done and dusted. Three and done, eh? Yeah. 
All right. Well, what we haven't spoken about is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So yeah, back to back to that. <laughs> yeah. Back yeah to so that. Honey, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is getting uh, rebooted, remade, continuing the story, which I like. Yeah. Because it's basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. If you haven't seen this movie, what the fuck are you doing with your? Uh, movie? Wasn't there a second one as well? There was like three of them. Oh, okay. Was there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I believe I've seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It is super old school. I don't know if I've seen anything else. Really? I know Rick Moranis is in it. Uh, he and quit Hollywood to look after his kids, he hey? He did. What a gentleman. What an absolute gentleman and a scholar. Uh, or a complete idiot. Maybe. <laughs> one of, the, well, one of those two. He he probably made all the money in the world off um, uh, space balls. All the money in the world, Kate. Yeah. Off space balls. Yeah. Enough for him probably. to live anyway. Yeah, maybe. He's like, <laughs> he look, I made did. enough. I've, I've clocked life. Hey, I did Spaceballs, Ghostbusters, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, yeah, he was in Ghostbusters. Yeah. I've got all the money I need. Actually, he was probably in a fair few movies in the 80s. Let's oh, he was, was in heaps. But yeah. I, I think the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids series was his last. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I believe. So anyway, the story picks up like in modern day age Yeah, with uh, his son. Ah. Taking over the realms of shrinking his kids and getting into shenanigans. Oh, classic. Classic. Classic move, just following after the dad. <laughs> yeah. Shrinking kids. Living like they, in his shadow. <laughs> like they didn't learn from the first lot. Yeah, exactly. Where they were getting attacked by ants and stuff. Now, I want to see what happened with that technology. I yeah. imagine the change that could happen in the world. I imagine transit. Transit would be so much easier. Well, isn't that the uh, the premise of the movie Downsizing? Have you seen that? No, because I've heard it's terrible. I heard it's fucking shit. Yeah. But it's the premise of it yeah. still, nonetheless. Like Absolutely. whether it's terrible or not, I'm pretty sure that's that's kind of what they do. Well, no, but the thing with downsizing is like you just can only downsize. Oh, like you can't you can't re- come back. resize. Yeah, you can't upsize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Would you downsize? Uh if I could only downsize. Yeah. And never come back. Yeah. As a big boy. As a big boy. Uh maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen the I haven't seen the movie to know what the world's like. Well. I don't think you need to see the movie to to understand it. Well, everyone else has shrunk as well, right? Like not everyone, but not there's everyone. like a whole there's a whole society, city and society yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, why not? I think it'll be good. I'm sick of you, fucking normies, <laughs> you no- <laughs> your normal size humans. You know, clomping around with thinking your big you old feet, place. thinking you own the place. It'll be interesting because it's kind of like I, I'm seeing short bits of it. Yeah, and <laughs> short bits, <laughs> uh, and it's kind of like. They're, they're like made a well out of a vodka bottle and, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And it's like, okay, cool. That makes sense. But it's like, would that alcohol instantly kill you? Well, it wouldn't be alcohol, would it? Well, it would. They would have just filled it with water. Well, no, no, no. Because it's, I, I would believe it's, it's actual vodka. Why would they do that? Because that's hilarious. Is it? Yeah. Apparently not. Because apparently that movie sucked. Well, maybe. Anyway, maybe you know what didn't just- suck? What? Honey, I shrunk the kids. That's true. That's coming back. That's a goddamn national treasure. Um, I will speak very quickly about um, this sort of thing, and then we'll move on to the last point. But do you, do you ever think that the reboots are getting to a point where you just kind of want them to stop? They'll never stop. No, they'll never stop. You know, but at some point, like, are we going to run out of movies? Because then we're going to get to a point where – We've done all them, and now it's time to start rebooting the reboots. Like yeah. I don't know, say Spider Man again as, as an example. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, look, it's really an interesting point. It's like, has every original story been told? Hell, no, it can't have. How do you know? Well, because uh, like I believe television is proof of that. Okay, okay. So I believe that television is giving us. Give me something that is super unique. Um, from television and well, I'll see if I can match it. Okay. Well, it depends on like, um, it depends on what you mean by unique because just because you've tapped the movie market doesn't mean there aren't books that you can also tap. Yeah. That there aren't, you know, you can't adapt things from poems or you can't adapt things. Who from, wants to watch hey, a TV show based off a poem? Uh, or like, or movies I'm talking about okay. as well. So movies as well. That'll uh, be the most boring fucking movie. Have I've you ever. seen the movie Troy? No, I haven't. Well, there you fucking go, because yes. that's technically based on a poem. Is it technically, short? Uh, no, it's, <laughs> it's Does it like, rhyme? Uh, it doesn't rhyme. Well, fucking what a shit poem. Although, actually, there is a version that rhymes, oh, but really? I don't think originally it was kind of, you know, it was, yeah, whatever. Still but, technically a poem, all right? The the poetress cut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my point is, like, just because you've tapped the movie medium doesn't mean there aren't other mediums that you can tap. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so they're like, I would have said Game of Thrones as an example, but that was a book series first, obviously. Yes. Um, so there are plenty of that type of thing going along. Uh, you could say something like, hmm, let's look at, oh, okay, a show I just mentioned before, Barry. Okay. What's Barry? Okay. So Barry is technically, it's about a hitman. Okay. Uh, who has decided that he wants to be an actor. And so <laughs> there you go. So can you, and that's effectively what it's about. And it's about him trying to escape his hitman life and get into this acting life. Can't he just act like he's not a hitman? Uh, well, he's got to be a good actor first oh, for that okay. to happen. Uh, Why does he keep accidentally killing people? Uh, well, in a way. Okay. He keeps getting drawn back into it. But my point is, tell me something like that. Like that seems to be a wholly original idea, right? Look. That yeah. does seem original, but I don't know if the concept is original. It's kind of like the whole, hey, I'm I'm looking for a sea change. Oh, well, uh, like at what? So, okay. <laughs> so when you say original ideas, yeah. you mean legitimately groundbreaking. Nothing, groundbreaking. Yeah. Nothing has ever been thought of this before. Yeah. Uh, Can't have people fall in love. That's romance. That's, that's romance. Yeah. That's been done. Can't uh, have people killing. That's ooh, thriller. Oh, that person Maybe laughed. Horror. That's comedy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I want a movie void of complete emotion. Um, ooh, <laughs> I could tell you a few probably. Um, but hey, look, that's an impossible task and I'm not John Wick, all right? Oh, okay. I can't take it up. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about quickly before we wrap it up oh, for the week. You, you're running out of time. I've got all the time in the world. You don't because I have control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Game of Thrones is over. Yes, it is. Now, uh, I won't talk too much about it because we are still going to do a Game of Thrones wrap. Uh, it is going to come next week, I believe, Indeed. Inst- instead of this week. We're going to try to do it this week. But it just all fell apart, really, didn't it? Uh, look, it got to Wednesday and we're like, oh. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, that's right. Uh, let's do this instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to push it back to next week. So we will do it. Um, so it is still definitely coming. Um, I just want to say that um, are, are you happy there is a lot to unpack. <laughs> uh, look, yes, yes and no. Um, I feel like there are, there were, look, there were certainly points in the finale where I was scratching my head kind of going, what? Like, yeah, okay. why? That would not fucking happen. That legitimately makes no sense. Um, but overall, I would say that I was, I was quite happy with it. Okay. I had a good time. Uh, I think um, I'm not one of these salty, salty, salty people uh, <laughs> that are just like raging all over the internet because they didn't get what they want, uh, The Last Jedi. Oh, it's right. a, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it is, um, look, I think I, I understand that the final season was rushed, um, but man, we had six amazing seasons before we had season seven, which was slightly rushed, and then season eight, which was probably rushed a bit too far. Um, so for us to get that and even the quality that we still got towards the end, still great. So I'm not necessarily going to be gushing over it next week uh, for the season eight, but I did still have a really good time. This is and some, I love that show, God damn look, it. That's one of the problems that you have with the TV show is that you have got seasons behind it building up to it. Yeah. And the ending is always going to be a letdown. Oh man, it I is. I can't even tell you one team. Oh, okay, The Office is the only one that's ever had a good ending. Yeah, but even that suffered through a really sort of like Shit lukewarm season. season nine yes. or ten or whatever it was before it wrapped up with a really good finale. Yeah. Um. So you know, you could say the same with like uh, even Breaking Bad was not necessarily what you wanted, what you wanted, or what you thought it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you know. Shows that have that have been consistently great from start to finish even struggle. Um, I can see some of the criticisms and I can understand some of the criticisms and I myself have my own criticisms. But holy shit, for what we still got and what was still you know put on screen and who doesn't want to look at like Amelia Clark on a week to week basis? Because I do, but now I don't get to anymore. Well, you um, still can. You can always go back. Well, I follow her on Instagram, so that's oh, all okay. I've got now. <laughs> you follow <laughs> so, one person on Instagram. That, I've only, I only follow one person on Instagram. It's Amelia Clark, and that's it. Mm. Anyway. Uh, but Game of Thrones, wrap up, coming next week. How about you do it over two episodes? Oh, damn. You think you can do that? Oh, man, I could talk about this for 17 okay. episodes. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Double Game of Thrones next week. 
double Game of Thrones. Uh, that is it, though, for this week, isn't it? That is. We'll be back with another episode on Thursday. But in the meantime, make sure you leave us a five-star review on iTunes and help support the show. Do it. Do it. And if you don't want to do that, but you should, you should do it anyway. Uh, you can jump on patreon.com forward slash comic con pod and support us that way. Uh, for as little as $2 a month is the best way to do it because that's when you start to get some stuff. Yep. Bonus episode every week. All of that, baby. Uh, and finally, make sure you head to our Facebook listener community and join in on the fun with a whole bunch of awesome members. Just search Comic Confidential Listener Community and get your sweet ass in there. And just because Cade has actually skipped one, I'm going to throw in that you can check out past episodes uh, of the show and episodes of the other <laughs> uh, the other great shows on our network on uh, ccradio.com.au. But that is it. As always, I'm Troy. And I'm Cade. And this has been Comic Confidential. Cheers. Peace.